Welcome back. In this lesson, I want to share some tips on calls, text, and notes. So first up, a phone call followed by a personal handwritten note is one of the most effective ways to communicate with your database, right? So a good rule of thumb is to call your database or text them, as we mentioned earlier, a minimum of four times per year. So make sure that task is set in your CRM or you have it as recurring tasks like birthdays, home anniversaries, or holidays to remind you when it's time to make the call. Always, always leverage those automated action plans that you have in your CRM. Have a great model. It's been around forever to use to, that if you don't really know what to talk to people about if it's not over a holiday or other reasons that I talked about earlier, to remember the Ford script. So Ford's, Ford, F-O-R-D, it stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Dreams. Pretty straightforward. There's always one of those areas or multiple areas in that Ford script that you could connect with somebody about. So about their family, what's happening, something recently, or just asking about their family, maybe something that's happening with their job or how their job's going, or if you notice anything on LinkedIn or whatever regarding a, a new position. The recreation, that's just people always are posting what they're doing and fun things that they're doing with, themse with uh, travel and trips and family. And then dreams would just be around anything people share with you about their goals and things that they've always wanted to do. So there's always something to talk about if you don't know what to talk about because it uh, happens to be a call you're making and it's not for a specific reason like a birthday or so on. Just remember Ford, that'll help you out. All right, text connects. Texting your database and uh, anybody in, that you are having your contacts from Sphere to even leads, it can be very effective. More and more people prefer to use text um, it can be effective if you just continue to have that conversation. So I'm not talking about a mass text sent from the phone number used in your CRM. I'm talking about more meaningful one-on-one -on -one text for whatever the reasons are. So what can those be? Well, you've been mentioning it throughout this module. It can be on birthdays and specific events and holidays and milestones and so forth, holidays. One thing that I wanted to share with you that if you were wishing everybody a happy new year via text or happy Valentine's Day or whatever the case may be. Use the time saver of notes or some kind of application on your phone to, to script out the text, the actual text of the text, if you will. And uh, just that way you can copy and paste and, and then you can customize it and say, hey John, hey Susie, you know, hey Mark, just wanted to wish you whatever or maybe you're going to send them to to a video or whatever it is you're going to do maybe a video with a text but you'll just it's a it's a no-brainer but it's just a common sense thing that you might want to simply copy and paste copy and paste and and modify it as needed and it's also powerful you keep you hear me saying it just taking a second to record a video and sending it out that can go a long way as well all right a couple notes on personal notes and a couple tips you must build a habit of sending personal notes. This is the only way you're gonna do it. I'm gonna give you a couple other power strategies around becoming a great note writer. A personal handwritten note card should follow every call, every call that you make. Uh, that We talked about that earlier. If you're not sure what, you know, who to write notes to, there's always an opportunity to write a note, okay? So take the time to send that note. It's a personal way to show your client how important they are to you. So here's the benefits of a handwritten note. It's always read. I don't know about you, but I don't even check the mail, but maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Why? Because there's generally nothing really great in the mail anymore. I used to say the only thing that was in the mail were bills and circulars and flyers and advertisements, but now most of us get bill, bills online. We don't even, we're saving trees. We're not having our bills sent to us. So. Notes are always read. It takes your time, which is your most your most precious commodity, and people know that. Nobody takes the time to write notes or let alone letters anymore. So therefore, it leaves a lasting impact. But to become successful in writing personal notes, you got to write them every day. Now, don't create some crazy goal like you're going to write five notes a day. This is what I recommend: one note a day. Just write one note a day. That's all you have to do one note a day, but here are a few things that you have to remember to make this a habit, okay, and to make it more powerful. 
get blank note cards, right? So that you can write a handwritten message. You can definitely go get some customized notes. We use Canva. Canva is a great place to go in and you could create a customized front with your company or your logo and uh, maybe personalize information on the back of the card, but leave room for you to write the handwritten note. That's the whole point of this. I like the idea of using colored ink so it's obvious that it was handwritten because there are, and we use, we use mailbox power. I've used send out cards in the past. Those look like they're handwritten. It's still a nice effect, especially if you send it with a little gift, that can be a time saver, but nothing beats the power of you actually writing a handwritten note. So using colored ink, hand address the envelope, use a stamp. That means you've got to have these things on hand, right? You got to have the note cards on hand and you need the stamps on hand. Uh, and, and go get some cool stamps. Go to the post office and get, you know, bright, bold stamps, all right? It's going to stand out in the mailbox is the point. So you commit to a certain number of personal handwritten notes weekly. I'm recommending just one a day. And then write the note in the moment when the reason for sending the, the note occurs. So I mentioned after you make a phone call to someone. But there are endless things that you can do. And this is just the mindset you need to have. This is how simple it is. Always have a supply of these blank note cards and envelopes and stamps. Stamp them. Have them already stamped. They need to be with you everywhere. At your home office, at your office, in your car, in your files, whatever it is that you're doing so that you can be in the moment and you can grab it. You could already have it stamped and you can address it. So you can do this for a lot of reasons. Let me give you a few more, but just fine. Here's the mindset. Part of your day is who's getting my personal note today. Have some fun with this. Pull out one note card and carry it around with you waiting to see who's, you know, who's going to be the note, who's going to get your note today. You'll start to have some fun with this and you'll get in the habit of it. So clearly when you have open houses, if you're able to get people's addresses or look them up, if they own a home, that's powerful. I already mentioned after a client call or a visit, how about the co-op agent in a transaction that you just uh, started or you just finished and it was great. That's awesome. So awesome when we have a transaction with another professional, you know, it goes a long way. Send a personal note with any of your vendors or partners. Maybe you just had a home inspection and it was really rough and your home inspector did a great job in, in helping your clients understand things, you know, stop, go get back into your car. You probably have your, your vendors, you know, information or you can look it up, send them a personal note. Clearly when you receive a referral, I'm going to talk about that in uh, an upcoming lesson, give you some details and some ideas around what you can do to make that special when someone gives you a referral. And then at the close of a transaction, clearly you could write a note, provide a gift, that type of thing as well. All right. So those are some quick, powerful strategies and tactics for calls, texts, and notes. See you in the next lesson.